Joe, well played. Um, I mean, you leave it late, but it looks like a Bristol City, but you deserved that, didn't you? Um, I think on the balance of things, yeah. Um, we know QPR are a good side. They play expansive football, they're high scorers, but they concede goals as well. Um, we felt we're pretty harshly treated by the referee in the first half. Um, we should, thought we should have had two penalties. We've seen them both back at half time and after the game, and the stone wallers really. Um, but that's just the way it goes. The referee wasn't really on our side. He wasn't against Fulham either. But at the end of the day, we can't really point, put the blame on the referee. We've got to um, put the blame on ourselves for not creating more chances and putting the ball in the net. We had more than enough chances to go in at half time, um, scoring scoring a goal. Um, but Obviously, it's a bit disappointing with their, with their goal right on the stroke of half-time, but the manager said a bit of a kick up the backside at, at half-time, saying we're, uh, we don't want your heads to drop. Um, go out there and keep playing, keep pushing. And as we proved against Bristol, we're more than capable of scoring late goals. And um, Obviously, Jackie Colback, <laughs> not of, all the, of all the players, but no, he's, he's somebody who's probably had, had his nose shoved out for the last 18 months or year or whatever. And, uh, he deserves it. He's a good lad. Yeah. Well, there's a real resilience about the team, though, isn't it? Obviously, we saw it at Bristol City with those two goals right at the end. And even when you got the one tonight, you were still pushing for that second as well. Yeah, well, if, if fans watch, were, get the chance to watch training, or if, if they could, they'd see that it's high octane, fast, lots of goals. Um, well, take, that, <laughs> take from that what you will, whether we need to defend better. I probably agree at some, at some points as well. We, we do need to stop the leak mm. at the back. But I suppose that's the risk and reward you get when you play open, expansive football. We try and the manager came in, set his stall out, and said, "Look, I'm not happy to attack with seven players. I want to attack with eight. And we're looking around the neck. Um, but as you can see, I'm breaking the box against Blackpool, having a shot, and grabbing, grabbing's tapping it in, and we're outscoring teams. And we've, we've got off to a fly under, under the new manager. Um, he's instilled that belief in us uh, right from the start. Um, but we need to really um, knuckle down and, and be consistent with how we do things and how we uh, the principles of a play. Um, maybe didn't deserve to win the game, but certainly we didn't deserve to lose it today. And I think um, they'll probably say the same. Yeah, there was so much talk over the last few weeks about what Steve Cooper's brought to Forest as, a, as an attacking force. But I wonder, from your point of view, you're playing now in this this three-man defence. How, how you're finding that? You've given a bit of a clue as to what it's been like for you. But how are you finding it? Yeah, it's good. Um, something that I've uh, experienced before, actually, under Warburton when he was at Forest, he, uh, he liked to deploy the back three. Um, under Montagnier as well, before Warburton, um, I played on the left of the three, but it's, it's, it is a challenge because um, we've changed from a three to a, a, um, a pair in many of the games. Uh, Bristol today. Um, Toby's been obviously taken off again against Fulham. I think he, he took Toby off yeah. as well. Um, nothing against Toby. He's he's been fantastic. He's he's somebody who just keeps his head down and cracks on with things. Um, but in terms of different systems, it does take a little bit of adjusting and getting used to. But the ownership's on us. The managers put in a lot of pressure and expectation levels on us centre halves to to start attacks. Um, I relish that. Uh, pressure and I like to think a step up to the plate. Same with Scotty, same with Toby, Jed, Max. They're probably not wing backs, but they're they're full backs, so they should be able to get forward as well. So um, yeah, I think we could probably do a little bit better during when we do change from a three to a four. Maybe that transition needs to be a little bit smoother because we gave a couple of chances away um, in this game today from in that like little period. But um, we're definitely not short of analysing our game and how we how we do things on the training pitch either. So um, we're constantly critiquing ourselves. Just finally, just thinking we're only a couple of games now away from an international break and you just think where you are now going into that position, I know there's a couple of games still to go, but you just think given the turnaround that it's been, I wonder how you're feeling about things and where Forest are as you approach that position. Yeah, look, it was only two months ago when we were pulling our hair out. Um, we can't get too ahead of ourselves, fed up of these cliches, but it's 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 just how it is in football. Um, you have to take every game as it comes. You have to believe in the process of what the new manager wants us to do. Um, speak on behalf of everybody that we've certainly bought into that. Our performances have showed that. 
Um, and yeah, we're, we're we're still a young group. We're, we're, if you look at the starting eleven today, Johnson, Martin, Martin who comes on, um, the oldest players obviously grab and Lolly, 29 or whatever. So we've got a really young squad. Me, Scotty, Mac, we're only 24. Um, Max, 23. Jed. 21. We've got Yatesy, um, Cole back, he's 41. I think. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think we've got a we've got a young squad, um, and the manager's used to working with youngsters and and um, and coaching coaching players. And even with the older boys, like Lyle's come out and said that it's breath of fresh air. Mm. So no matter what the age, everybody's bought into it, and we are certainly. I'm really enjoying playing for Forest at the minute. Just before play, Joe. Thank Cheers. you. Cheers. Thanks. Thank you.